Irene from Trinkle's Garden and Home Life. Um, I thought I'd come out here and try to make a really quick video. Um, I'm sure it's 80 degrees out here. Feels a little more like 90. Um, and I'm praying that my phone doesn't die. Uh, so I'm going to go out here. and It's July 29th. I'm going to come out here and do a little quick video. Uh, video from yesterday so let's turn this camera around and get started before the phone dies from the heat just wanted to show you that the tomato that I that was um, not turning red is starting to turn red look at it look at it so hopefully I'll be able to get it real sometime soon um, in this container here uh, let me move around here here's the little squash bed there's no squash on it but um i came out here yesterday to trim them up a little bit and cover my orange peppers but it seems like something still got inside of there hopefully they won't eat them when they grow and look at my giant marconis over here look how big they are wait until they turn red and hopefully nobody gets them i have some okra in here too uh jalapenos um here are some california wonder peppers if you can see them a few of them there's a little one there i'm waiting for them to get a little bigger to harvest over here is the lily put um flowers in here and there go the apple uh cucumbers hopefully they'll all be fine trying to do this quickly before the phone dies hope you guys are having a blessed day and if the phone dies I'm gonna upload the video anyway but hopefully it doesn't die before I get a chance to say see you later there's the okra I still see some of them um, little bugs or whatever they are on it but I sprayed it with some neem oil yesterday and put some neem cake down in the soil so hopefully it'll be okay um, let's go over here to this little tiny Tim tomato. You see the tomato on there? Hope it, hope you can see it. But yeah, it's growing, keep growing. Yeah, I gave everything some fertilizer early this morning. So there's the kale and everything. This is in the veggie pod, the Swiss chard, looking nice and red. Uh, so let me close this bed down so we can move on. Trying to move quickly. Um, yeah, this is the citronellus plant, of course, is doing well. Got some lettuce and kale under there. Parrots cause lettuce and kale under there. Uh, strawberries. There's some turning red, but they're still little. Not too many bugs eating them. Um, I actually got some okra in here, too. So, um, looking forward to them. I actually planted some Clemson Spine okra and some red okra. Yeah, you can see the lemon cucumber. They're doing okay. Down here, you can kind of see the green onion coming up see a few in there and here's the lily put zinnia trying to bloom over here I showed you yesterday the uh, squash you can kind of see it better right there over here there's another one down there hope it to do okay don't want to make you guys dizzy uh, the rosemary's looking good over here is some okra in here down there here is the eggplant got a few on there coming um, like I said yesterday I already harvest some and it was very very good I covered up one of the tomatoes here so nothing won't be picking at it but there's plenty more on here there's a couple Roma tomato down there uh, yesterday I didn't see that but look at there there's a cucumber Oh, and I'm so happy to see it keep on blooming and look at this red zinnia 
right here. There's something buzzing in my ear. Um, I had to come out here because this cucumber has grabbed onto this plant. I don't want to choke it, the flowers out. So I have to come back and rescue that flower. Um, this here is my fig tree. I don't really see anything on it yet. This here is the palm plant that I had. And of course the mint. And mint is kind of choking out the sage and the thyme. So hope everything survives. Uh, well, gonna over here is blueberries. That one died. Here's the lily. It looks so beautiful there. Can you see it? Um, these were red lilies over here, but they have stopped blooming. Um, these are some purple flowers. I don't know exactly what they are, but they're very, very beautiful. Um, there you go with my green giant tomato. It seems to be doing fine. And here is the sugar baby watermelon. And the one that I seen down there yesterday is down here. And there is actually another one right here growing. I don't know if you can see it. But I'm looking forward to those. And you got to look on here. Because yesterday I looked on these bean plants and I didn't see anything. But I have to go around and I'll show you. Oh, oh, look at here. Some cucumbers on this cucumber. The bees had been hanging. I didn't see that yesterday, but I see them today. Looking forward to them. Should be plenty of cucumbers on there. Uh, the green tent uh, squash there. But look, more flowers. But I'm going to go down here without trying to make you dizzy. But see, the, there are some beans. Looking forward, yay, yay, keep saying yay, and thank you, Jesus. All right, you all, here's the garden. Hopefully, this one came out right. Just go around, look at the garden, the beauty, oh, beautiful garden. So grateful. Hope you all stay blessed stay hydrated because it's very hot here especially in Georgia so I will chat with you all soon and continue to have a blessed day